Merry meet everyone. This is Pushti Shiv Shakti from Goddess Breath and it is time for our weekly reading. I wonder what kind of a weekend you guys had. Well, I had a very nurturing and caring weekend. So that's that. And the first card for this week, Monday and Tuesday. The Queen of Water. She tells me about how she wants to trust her intuition and she tells you to trust your intuition more than just go with what other people are telling you to do. Um, yes, references from the outside are alright, but the fact is this is a time for you to really dig deep into your intuition and know exactly what you want because you're not going to really have to study and make sure you read a ton to realize what needs to be done. Oh wow, that rhymes. <laughs> you do not need to read a ton to see what needs to be done wow okay so uh, she basically is telling me that she knows that everyone deserves a second chance and she is ready to give that second chance you need to realize if you are ready to give yourself another chance if you're ready to give someone else another chance or if you're ready to just figure out what happened because a conversation is very very important and a conversation out of affection, out of love, out of understanding, not out of an ego. It's a conversation that's going to show you things if you allow it to show you things. It's not going to be a hard-headed conversation saying, I am going to talk to you and you will listen. It's not that kind of a conversation. It's a conversation that says, okay, let's have a cup of tea, let's have a cup of coffee and just let's sit and chat. What happened? Tell me. It's that kind of a conversation. It's a conversation that wants to make you talk. You're going to create a space or you're going to be welcome to create a space that is open to understanding, to listening, to allowing the thought of feeling in your life in a very, very beautiful and deep manner. This is something that is going to set up the mood for the entire week. You are open. You are wise. That side of you possibly is untapped within you but these two days are an absolute absolute opportunity to tap into that side of you that says i know that i can listen i am there for you and i hear you how many of us just want that just want that someone to get up and say i'm here i hear you either you're going to meet someone like that or you're going to become someone like that and that is the choice you are left to make so what are you going to choose? Are you going to choose to be there for someone? Or are you going to choose to find someone who can be there for you? That's Monday and Tuesday. Wednesday. Integrity. This is an extremely powerful card. For me, integrity stands for walking your talk. You know, we all have ideas about things this is going to be such and that is going to be such and i believe this should be done you know we judge people it's very easy for us to, to go into that mode of judgment because it's our go-to place most of the time why because that's what people have done to us as well right they've judged us left right and center nobody's gotten up and said tell me what you're doing and tell me why you're doing it you know not a very why are you doing this not a very threatening way. Just like, what happened? Why do you choose to do this? Would you want to choose to do something else? Just that. The fact is, continuing from Monday and Tuesday, that comes along. So, avoid going into judgment. But if you have gone into judgment, remember one thing. There are many people who are judging you at the same time you are judging them. Right? And beyond that, integrity is about living living up to what you're judging so if you're judging someone to be you know behaving badly or on a lighter note getting dressed badly <laughs> make sure you're behaving right and make sure you are dressing correctly it's just as simple as that what you are going to put out into the universe you have to become you know if you're going to judge someone on anything anything please remember that you have to be correct or perfect over there but again, why would you put yourself through that much pressure? Allow life to flow through you. Because you're not doing anything for life except acting it out. And life would like to flow through you. 
it's divinity wanting to express itself and experience itself through you so the experiences you're having it's absolutely not just you having them it's about divinity experiencing that experience as well so try to avoid stopping yourself from doing things or going to do things because they're correct because they're supposed to be done it should be done like that no step into your own power and tell yourself this is what i believe in this is what i would like to do and this i does not come from your ego it comes from a space of self assuring it comes from a space of knowing who you are and it comes from a space of extreme self esteem and grounding so wellness day is an opportunity for you to know exactly what you are but the question is is that a difficult space for you to be in have you been in that space more than not find out if you haven't why haven't you been there and would you like to be there if you would wednesday is an awesome place to start okay thursday and friday it's a beautiful card look at it it's the maiden she's gentle she's jumpy she's young she's exploring for a lot of people who have not been in this space the maiden card is another invitation it's an open house people it's an open house she says come on come with me i'm exploring i'm looking around i'm not just exploring the limits of my boundaries but i'm making sure i want to do what i want to do she's saying that she's exploring her beauty she's exploring her intelligence she's exploring her creativity she's exploring her fertility and she's exploring her sexuality she is exploring everything that people have told her stay away from this it's wrong till now she's followed rules but now she's off she's off and she's saying i am my own person and i'm going to do what i want to do if i make mistakes it's on me you know it's it's my responsibility to understand that the mistake was made by me and that i will bear the repercussions of it she is coming out to tell you to come join her in this journey of beauty just look at the way she walks she's engulfed in beauty she's engulfed in you know in everything's charming around her she's taking care and she's noticing what she's noticing and she's noticing gentleness she's noticing beauty she's noticing transformation she is noticing everything that is helping her soul to progress to be who it really is she wants to know who she is and she will not back down till she does and if that means taking a taking a walk through the dark scary woods she'll do it and she's asking you want to come along are you game are you okay with walking through the dark dark woods with me and what are the dark woods it's you it's your mind it's your emotions and it's the entangling of everything there it's all the threads and the knots and all the binds that have been put on you from outside and by yourself she wants you to come enjoy with her she wants you to come break those bounds with her because she says that's what's going to make you stronger and make you real she wants you to know who you are would you want to know who you are wednesday uh, sorry thursday and friday are two days that this invitation is open for you it's a beautiful week and it's a very coherent week it's not one thing and another thing and another thing it's a progression and to top it all off the oracle card i'm mm, sorry the white rose it talks about purification by purifying your life of negative people places and experiences you attain true peace and the white rose is telling me that it is important and not just important it is kind of primary to clean it out clean out everything that stops you clean out everything that hurts you right because this this entire week is about yourself it's not about another person it's about yourself and you 
could serve yourself much better if you just purify things emotionally, mentally, physically, spiritually, romantically, financially. Every way, in every possible way, just keep purifying yourself. Allow yourself to drain out all the negativity, all that's wrong, all that you feel, all that you feel does not really work for your life anymore. It's not wrong to do that. It's your life. Just because you've been keeping it close to you doesn't mean you have to forever. It's a choice and it's time to pick up that choice and make it. Are you willing to make a few choices? You're not going to please everyone. It's apparently never possible to please everyone. Yeah, because you're not pizza. <laughs> but the point is, you can please you. And you are the most important person for you to please. So it's time to please yourself. Time to purify everything that doesn't suit you from within. Let it go out and say, now I am fine. I can walk my path in the surety of who I am or who I want to be. Or just walk the path in the surety that I'm walking the path. And I'm enjoying the experiences of walking the path. So that's this week. It's beautiful. It's intense. And hmm, it's going to be, you know, energetic. Energetic. It's going to be what you make it to be. Now this can, don't get me wrong, but this can get into a lot of depression. Because, oh my God, I don't believe I'm like this. How will, how will, oh my, why am I like this? Why, why was I born like this? Stop. Stop. Just realize that you have a choice. If you are in a particular manner and don't like it, you can just flip and you can change into being what you want to be personally. It's not difficult at all. Have a great week, you guys. And if you want a deep, intense reading, more intense than this, for your week, every week, message me on Shakti, S-H-A-K-T-I at goddesspress.com and I can do you a beautiful weekly reading and you can plan your life like that. Plan your weekly life like that. <laughs> Have a great week, you guys, and I will see you on Saturday. Love you.